Welcome back pilots to Squadron's Update. Today Motive dropped a small but new patch called the 4.2 update that fixed a serious, almost game-breaking bug. Especially if you were into the whole Squadron's competitive scene too, then yeah, this was a pretty noticeable bad bug. But in addition to this, we also got a nerf to the TIE Defender's controversial concussion missile, along with of course some other smaller changes here and there. As always, we'll be covering all of this and more in today's video. And before we get into any of that, but a quick reminder, as if you do like these type of videos, then do remember to give it a like to show your support for not only this update series, but also the content within it. With that out of the way, let's get into it. So, while Battlefront 2 has taken the spotlight at the start of 2021, Squadrons on the other hand is still going strong and only continuing to get better. Especially with Motive sprinkling new small additions to the game with regular patches too. Recently, Motive actually released some Old Republic, yeah, you heard that right. Old Republic content into squadrons with the Ancient Republic and Sith Empire crest. Need additions to the game for sure. But before anyone gets any ideas about this, like, oh, I don't know, maybe EA prepping a canon Old Republic game or something like that? Sorry to say, but this is only a cross-promotion thing done between two EA Star Wars games. Nothing more, nothing less, but still cool to see. And now as for the patch today, Motive dropped a 4.2 update with the main highlight of it being finally a fix for the dreaded dead drifting glitch. For anyone who doesn't know what the dead drifting glitch exactly is, then let me quickly explain. Basically, in the game, there's a bit of aim assist added to your shots when you fire at a target and the crosshair is red to help converge the shots onto the target. Prior to today's patch, the aim assist wouldn't function at all against the ship that was drifting. And without this small amount of aim assist, some ships wouldn't even be able to hit other ships with their guns at all. So dead drifting was when someone would execute a drift and extend the drift distance by taking as much, if not all of their energy out of their engines. Then combined with the previously mentioned aim assist bug and this would lead to some frustrating moments where you wouldn't be able to damage people exploiting this bug. Which went about as well as you'd expect in the competitive scene, yeah. This was a very much needed fix for Motive, without a doubt. Now, in addition to this, there were some other small fixes included as well, like for spectator mode in custom matches, flagship health and shields not displaying correctly in the tactical map, and text chat pretty much not working at all if you played with a controller. Like I said, small fixes, but they were there. However, what really caught everyone's eye was the nerf to the TIE Defender. As now, thanks to this update, its concussion missile cooldown has been increased from 2.3 seconds to 6 seconds. This is without a doubt a big nerf, as the TIE Defender is already an OP ship if used correctly. And the concussion missile before was stupidly good and just wrecking folks with the very quick cooldown that it had. And as you can imagine, for this reason alone, it was in practically everyone's defender loadout and became quite annoying real fast. But fortunately, this is no longer an issue thanks to this nerf. And now, I'm pretty sure we'll start seeing some more unique TIE defender loadouts cruising around in space. Which hey, some originality isn't a bad thing to have, especially for the TIE defender. Until the next time, this'll do it for your Squadrons update. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel to not only support it, but also keep up with Star Wars news, gaming, and canon lore released every week. And consider following me on Twitter and Facebook to never miss out on the latest Star Wars content. Thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.